Hi, I'm Sonia Choquette. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here where we talk about all things intuitive, creative, connecting with your guides. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe. And if you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome. Today, I want to talk about the crown chakra. I call it your crowning glory. And this is a chakra that is really elusive and misunderstood for a lot of people. But we've seen it. We've all had some exposure to it because if you've seen any kind of works of art in, in museums or in churches, so many have these, these kind of halos around, the, 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 at least if they're sacred figures, these kind of glowing orbs around their head. And that is a picturing or a reflection of your crown chakra. That it's the opening to the spirit world. It's the connector from your subjective human experience and your, your higher self. So before we do anything, I want you to actually feel your crown chakra so that you know it's a real thing. I want you to rub your hands together like this, shake them out, rub them together and breathe and pull them apart and see if you can feel a subtle little energy traveling back and forth between your palms. Breathe as you do this. And once you can feel that activation, these are called your hand chakras, which I'll talk to you about at another time. Once that's awakened by doing this, you can feel your crown by just running your hand over the top of your head and you're gonna feel a spot where it feels just a little warmer. And your mind's gonna go, is it that, is it that? I don't know, but trust it. You're gonna just feel it. And you know what's interesting? Your hand, is automatically gonna go right there. Now, when you're born, your, your crown is open and it takes a few months for that to close down. I call that that soft spot. That's the crown. And that is the connection from your divine self, your higher self, to your physical body, to all the guides, to all the celestial influences that we have available, but mostly, it's also the connection to our most expansive divine self. So this crown chakra is the connection to, to getting nourished and nurtured and fed and, and what we often refer to as receiving downloads. They're literally coming into our crown. And these are these big bright ideas and ahas and sudden bursts of awareness that we cannot intellectually explain. It's just the, the I know feeling of life. I know this to be true. That's a crown awareness. You know, I, I'm not thinking about it. I'm not doubting. I'm not going through my intellect. I'm just feeling it, but I know. And it's not even I know in my gut. It's like, I know. And this kind of awareness often comes at, when we're least expecting it. Sometimes it comes in the middle of the night. Sometimes when our brains are just relaxing and we're starting to fall asleep, we get all these downloads of clarity. Things that suddenly make really good sense or big bursts of inspiration and creativity. That's a crown chakra receiving experience. Sometimes we will have that crown chakra experience when we're kind of relaxing, you know, just in that between worlds napping or dozing or or just having a moment and this often happens in the afternoon if say we we've had a nap or we're just laying quietly and our eyes are closed but we're not quite into a deep sleep but we have this huge revelation maybe we'll see an angel maybe we'll feel a guide maybe we'll have this huge inspiration this out-of-body experience all of that is occurring here at the crown. The crown is also the part of us that gives us the ability to get some subjective distance from life. It's the part of us that reminds us you are a spiritual being. This is a temporary experience. You are in the movie of your life, but you are not this personality in this body of who you are is not all that you are. So it's when you have this sudden adjust of perspective. All of a sudden you kind of die away out from something and you think, oh, you know, this too shall pass. I'll get through this. You just have a sense, a reminding of 
that that whatever I'm in is not the the, the be all end all of who I am. So that's a crown experience. Now, how do we strengthen that crown experience? Well, clearly the very first way to do that is through meditation. And I know when I say meditation, everyone says, oh, I meditate, but deep down inside you're saying, I don't know how to meditate, I'm not doing it right, I'm just closing my eyes and it's not working. But let's make it clear that meditation isn't knocking your brain out, okay? It's just shifting your attention away from the conversations that your ego is running through your brain. And you just kind of detach from it and know that's just what I call my barking dog. Have you ever been in a neighborhood where there was a dog down the block or down the street and you could hear it? Or if it wasn't a dog, maybe there was some public transportation. I had an apartment once in Chicago where the local L train, the public train just went back and forth. Eventually, it's like, oh, I know what that is, so I don't have to pay attention. Well, meditation is your higher self hearing all the conversations in your head saying, oh, I know what that is. That's just my ego mind freaking out. I don't have to pay attention. I can just detach, and I can just be in the moment, in the spirit of my present essence, and I don't have to be in the drama of my brain. So meditation happens in a lot of ways, but one of the ways, of course, is when you just sit and relax and breathe in through the count of four, maybe hold to the count of four, exhale to the count of four. That's a typical meditation. The other thing you can do if you're not a breathing, quiet my mind type person, is you can use your hands and get involved in a project. I know one guy who is just a nervous wreck and he was, he was a drummer and he just drumming everything and tapping away and his brain going 90 miles a minute. And I suggested that he maybe start putting together um, little model airplanes and little model cars and just, just a little project where he had to be quiet and focus and create something. And it worked for him. He said I would get involved and hours would go by where my brain would just, my chatter, my talking, chattering, make me freak out brain, stop talking. So that's another way to meditate. Listening to music is another way, but music that calms your nervous system. There's meditation music everywhere and I have channeled meditations also on my own website and on the on, on app with my publisher Hey House so you can listen that way with headphones. The key is that you're rising up to a higher version of you, an expanded version of you. Can you imagine like this is my what we call my local self, my body, my brain, my local self and my crown chakra opens me to my expanded self, my divine self, my creative self, my out of this world self, the one that dreams in my dream state and the one that has great visions and inspirations and connects to people that are not even near me and, and is my, my most beautiful self. The crown also opens up to the divine world. This is where you connect to your guides and, and your light beings and where you get this tremendous um, inspiration. So when we one of the ways in which we can connect to the crown chakra is to actually envision it. Just envision this top chakra. It's a violet white and tinged with gold. You know what really helps? Get some colors out, get some crayons or markers, and draw a little stick figure of you and put the crown on there because your involvement in focusing on the crown and coloring the white, the violet, the gold, you actually start activating that frequency. And it's when your crown is open, you become far less subjective, reactive, and um, egocentric. When your crown chakra is open, you really do settle into the acceptance that I'm a spirit, I'm a spiritual being, I'm having this human journey, it's interesting and I'm certainly involved in it, but it's not who I am exclusively. It's an experience I'm having. 
And you get to make peace with things like not being afraid of death and knowing that life goes on and feeling the connection to the spirit world, including your own loved ones who've crossed over. You begin to sense spirit guides. You begin to sense the angels around you. Just have a knowing that this is there, even though your intellect may question, even challenge it. Something deeper in you saying, eh, be quiet. It exists. It's part of who I am. The other thing about the crown chakra that's really beautiful is when it opens, you stop being so self-absorbed. You really do start to have an awakening and an awareness that we are all in this together and that we are on this living planet and that we all have a very valid reason for being committed to the greater good versus just our personal good. I think the, the crown chakra of humanity is opening as evidenced, if not encouraged, by our need to address global warming, for example. We're starting to recognize that we are connected to this planet and we have a responsibility to it and to one another and to future generations. So that's a crown chakra, that's crown chakra evidence that your crown is opening, that your divine self is waking up, that your less selfish, self-absorbed point of view is subsiding. And your interest in the greater good, this is the part of you that wants to be a volunteer. This is the self that wants to help others. This is the self that wants to put out good vibes and, and be peaceful and uplifting and positive instead of being entrenched in my own ego miseries and fears. The crown chakra is a part of us that helps us remember that we are divine beings, that we are here to have this wonderful human journey to learn to create, but that our souls and spirits are eternal. So we don't live with fear because only the ego that sees everything as super subjective and temporary is fearful. So we can have a more enjoyable experience of life because we aren't under constant threat. We begin to see the continuity of life, the connection that we have to life, to one another, to the planet, to our spirit guides, and we begin to live a more peaceful, expanded, and, and far more um, at ease experience. Some of the ways to open the crown are to take time every day to contemplate, meditate, focus on, and appreciate your spirit and the spirit of others. To be generous, to share, to show interest in others, to stop talking, start listening, start adding to the goodness of the planet. That really helps the crown. Gratitude helps the, the crown open because the spirit in us is naturally grateful and thankful and, and generous and kind and connected because we are in spirit made of love. That is our essence. So the more we express that, the more we open the crown. Another thing that helps open the crown is to make a commitment not to criticize yourself. That is the ego pulling you down, pulling you way into a more subjective experience. It separates you from others. It biases your outlook. It gives you the feeling that you're not good enough. Whereas, speak lovingly of yourself. Acknowledge what's good about you. Laugh a lot. Because that's God just trickling through you. When you laugh hard, you've got a whole divine force just sprinkling through your entire being. And the more you make these little adjustments, you meditate a little, you laugh, you, you take interest in the greater good, you, you affirm and, and, and listen to your spirit and recognize the spirit in others, the more this crown opens. And pretty soon you will shift from the paradigm of the subjective ego that's freaking out to your divine self that feels very supported, very connected, very loved and loving, and very secure. That is a very strong indication that your crown is open and that you're connecting to your divine self, your authentic self. You just don't worry so much. So I hope this is some inspiration. 
It's natural to have a crown chakra. It's natural to open it. You don't have to pry it open like a steel drum. Just, just sprinkle it with some attention and some time out and some appreciation for self and others at the deeper level. It'll open naturally. It's part of who you are. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel or force this. You relax into it. So I hope this helps you experience the beauty of your spirit through the crown chakra. Color it and see what happens. It's a real quick way to activate the crown chakra. Once you kind of draw it and color it, you'll remember it. You'll stay aware of it, you won't forget. And again, if this is your first time here or if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you again soon with another tip on how to live a magical life. All my love.